Hey, what is going on, everyone? This is Rashad, and this is our journey to a million. Today, just wanted to kind of highlight an article about a 39-year-old who regrets paying off his two mortgages. So let's get into it. Let's get into this. Okay, 39-year-old millionaire shares why he regrets paying off his two home mortgages. I felt trapped. Three years ago, I paid off two home mortgages, our primary residence and a three bedroom house that my wife and I rented out for $1,500 a month. I felt like I was on the right financial track. I was officially debt free and also ran a successful music blog and business coaching service. Both brought in a combined annual income of $1 million. Before that, my family and I had been living off food stamps annual income of a million dollars a year man that is phenomenal i would definitely say that he is winning let's say why does he regret paying off those two mortgages so it says that he enrolled his daughters in a school that was an hour away from his tampa home moving closer would have been ideal but the majority of the money was already tied up in real estate the options were limited and he felt trapped the experience taught him several important lessons. Have your own money philosophy. And he says that he did not grow up learning a lot about money. He got married very young. He turned to self-help books and experts for guidance. And obviously, as a lot of us do, he saw family struggle with debt. Let me see. He put 50% down on his new home after selling his old one and invested the remaining 50% of the new house's value into an index fund. Man, I actually love that. Although some people will tell you to put the least amount of money down as possible on your home and to throw all of the rest in the index fund. But this guy clearly knows what he's doing. You know, this guy's he's killing it out here. It's okay to get emotional about money. I agree a hundred percent, man. That's, causes so many anxious nights in my particular house. I'm not gonna say I get necessarily emotional about money, but maybe I do and I just don't show it. It has definitely caused stress and hardship in my past. My investment of 50% of my house's value into an index fund wasn't just an attempt to build wealth. It was primarily for peace of mind that I'd be able to access my money in the case of an emergency or a major life change. So I think it's interesting because let's suppose you buy a hundred thousand dollar house, you put $50,000 down and then you put $50,000 into an index fund, like my favorite index fund, which is VTSAX. So let's suppose you did that on January 1st this year, where that $50,000 is no longer worth $50,000. It might be worth 39,000, maybe $40,000. So you have taken a net loss if you happen to sell it. So let's suppose that there is a major life change and you have to liquidate your index fund, then you would have taken a huge loss as opposed to had you put that whole $100,000 on to your house, you would not take that loss. So it's different ways to look at it. Some people like the 100% down payment plan. Some people like a three and a half percent down payment plan or even a 20% down payment plan with you putting the rest of your money into index funds. But we know that with this particular market, had you done that early on, then you would definitely be SOL, as some people would say, because your money would have lost quite a bit had you sold it. But as I said, if you had a major life change and then you have to liquidate your funds to either move or to try to pay off your home, you wouldn't have enough money to pay off your home in this particular market. Now, had we been talking about two years ago and you did the $50,000, then that money would have gone up quite a bit. So, hey, that's what the market is. It is an absolute gamble. He says your money goals should be constantly evolving. I agree. Evolving. I agree with him 100%. You know, we mature and things should definitely be changing. We shouldn't have the same goals with money that we had five years ago, we shouldn't have the same goals necessarily that we had at the beginning of the year on January 1st, 2022. Those goals change all the time. As a matter of fact, my goals have been shifted with this current market and with some life changes that we have had. So I agree, your money goals should definitely be evolving. And this guy is now 
at an income of $1.6 million a year. His goal is to donate 50% of his profits to his church and causes. Hey, I'm not mad at that. Do, do you, buddy. Do you. Good stuff. What is one goal you could focus on that would help all your other goals become more achievable in the future? There's no right answer. Just one that motivates you. Hey, this is a phenomenal article. You know, I probably wouldn't have regrets for paying off a mortgage. I think that the guy makes a ton of money. He is absolutely loaded. And there probably really is no reason for him to have financial anxiety. However, at the same time, I'm noticing that no matter your income bracket, you are shaped by your previous experiences with money. So it's really easy to have financial anxiety, whether you make $100,000 a year, $10,000 a year, or $100 million a year, if you have been shaped in a particular manner and you allow that to control how you behave with money, then it could definitely cause you financial anxiety. And I'll be the first to admit that that has happened with me. You know, sometimes I don't sleep much better than I did when we were drowning in debt. And that's only because now I have different concerns with money. I want to make sure that we are set up and we will be good for the rest of our lives. But hey, this guy's killing it. I'm proud of him. Phenomenal story. Maybe he should loosen up a little bit. But if you think about it, who are we to tell anybody to cut down on their financial anxiety? You know, if he regrets paying off the mortgages, I totally understand. If it was me, I probably would be thrilled that I have those homes paid off. But hey, that's it for today. I just want to hop on and, and review that article. I appreciate your support. You all have a phenomenal day. Please like, subscribe, and share this content. And I will see you on the next one. Take it easy.